Hello, my name is William Hewitt and I am your instructor for BA 188 Customer Service. My email address is right up here and that is always going to be the best way to contact me. It comes to my phone as well as my computer and I'm able to get back to you very quickly. By school policy or college policy, we have uh, up to 48 hours, but generally I can get back to you within just a few hours and make sure that I can get any questions you might have answered promptly. Our textbook is called Customer Service, 6th edition by Robert W. Lucas. It's a McGraw-Hill publication from 215. Please make sure when you're getting your textbooks that you are getting the 6th edition. That way our assignments and are going to match up well for you. As we kind of go through the intro here on the Getting Started video, and obviously you are watching that, it's right here, is that we have some things here that you are probably going to want to make sure that you're uh, taking care of here. First one is going to be the Welcome to BA 188. In this here, it's going to kind of go over how the course is set up, uh, that it is a two credit class. It is a hybrid. That means that we also have a face-to-face -face class. It is going to be at the end of the class and look forward to meeting all of you and that information will be in the uh, syllabus for the date of this face-to-face -face class. It's all also was in the college schedule. So make sure that you uh, have that marked off on your calendar so you're able to attend as it is a graded class. Okay, so everything in here, all this good information here. One of the things I always like to point out is that this is not a self-paced class. You will find that the activities in Moodle do not open until the beginning of the unit. And then all unit assignments are due on the following Saturday by midnight, unless otherwise noted. Okay, I do accept late assignments up to one week if you let me know. I understand that life happens and sometimes our schedules get full or something unavoidable comes up. If you just let me know, I'd be more than happy to work together with you in order to make sure we get all of our assignments in. So I'm going to back out of this here. The next thing on our item here is going to be a short introduction of me about myself. And then probably the most critical piece to you folks is the course syllabus. And that is going to list everything you need. Um, again, the textbook, the prerequisites, course description, assessment strategies, our goals and ob objectives for the course. Uh, all sorts of other good information is here as so I'm just kind of scrolling through it. This is a weighted percentage grading class. So that means that it's by percents, it's not just a total points. So you'll notice that our form postings are 10%, our, our chapter tests and quizzes. We also have projects. And then the face-to-face -face, uh, proportion of our class is worth 15%. And so again, make sure that you're getting that marked on your calendar. Okay, as we scroll down here, there is a scoring rubric for you to uh, view and check out. That is how your uh, written assignments uh, for the various sections will be assessed. Minim minimum technical requirements. There is a calendar of due dates that will be updated each term. Also going to have a couple of netiquette uh, re refreshers on how we would correspond with each other in the class and also with uh, the professor here. I uh, also have some privacy statements of the web sources that we use during the class, and then a whole section on college resources. If you need tech support help, there's a link there to contact the, uh, the uh, college. Some college has some wonderful online learning uh, information there for you. One of the items that are used in the class is a PowerPoint. And so if you do not have PowerPoint on your computer, there's a couple of links here to where you can go and download them for no cost. You're able to view the PowerPoints that are, that are part of the class. It's the, it's the version is limited, so it doesn't allow you to create them, but it does allow you to, to view them. If you're new to Moodle, there's a couple of, of sections here to help you do that. Some online learning resources because taking an online class is quite a bit different than a face-to-face -face class. And so helping you with that information is here. ADA Student Services, again, these are college links and it'll help you with any questions you might have in those areas. 
Then the next two are forms. Now this first one here, it says required to check a couple of times weekly. This is where I am going to put information to the general class. See if, and so if things are uh, information that you need, they will be here. So if you have questions, always check here about maybe due dates, things that are going on in the class, because this is where I'm going to put that type of information. If everything's going well in the class and I don't see any trends that I need to address or any particular issues, I may not post as, as often. Uh, but again, I'd like you to check that at least once or you know twice a week just to see if there's new information for you. Underneath that is a coffee shop form, and that's for you folks. And so this is it's not a form that I necessarily monitor. I do check it from time to time, but this is where you can communicate with your fellow classmates. So if you need a ride to, say, the Hood River campus from the Dalles, this is where you could post that, see if anybody's going, and can maybe hop a ride. And so that's how the coffee shop form is. It's just kind of for you to post to your other classmates. Underneath that, there is a lot of terms in this class, and some of you may not be familiar with. And so I have included a glossary of terms in both English and Spanish for your benefit. This is something you could go ahead and print out. It is a Word document. You could print that out, put it in kind of your notebook for the class as, as a resource for when you're doing ac activities, then you'll be able to, to use that. So as we scroll down here, the other, next video that I would like you to view is this introduction to week one or unit one. And so this section right here will outline how the units are, are set up, testing, how testing works, all of those types of things. So I would like you to watch that after you've taken, uh, looked at all of the items up here. And then so when you're ready to start the assignments, please watch this video right here. Again, if you have any questions in the course, my email again is right up here at the top. I will be communicating to you through your student account that the college has set up for you. And so those are the uh, email addresses I have and will use. So please check those accounts often during the week because if I have questions or concerns, that's where I'm going to send that information. Good luck with the class. I look forward again to seeing you at our and meeting you at our face-to-face -face course. And uh, this is a fun class. I'm looking forward to it.